25 Things Women Wish Men Knew. The Secrets of What Women Want Revealed. That's the headline from uh, livingly.com. Uh, and it's written by the Livingly staff. And I'll put a link to the article in the comments section below and pin it to the top. And I'm going to ignore the preamble completely and go straight down to these 25 things. This is dating advice for you, by the way, boys. Uh, 25 things that women wish men knew. One, small things, cunt. Now, hold on a second. Let me get, get my reading glasses on. The writing's rather small, actually. Our small things count. Why not pick up our favourite feel-good treat while you're on your way home this evening? Well, why not pick it up yourself? Clue, it's either wine, chocolate or cheese. Well, that's rather fattening and bad for your health all round. Or buy us that new book we've been talking about non-stop. Well, you mean the one on how not to be a fat, drunken bitch? Two, the word effort is always the hitch. Take out the trash. Presumably uh, they mean the garbage and not this drunken fat bitch that uh, in my mind I, I seem to be dating if I'm taking this advice. Uh, call us to see how our day was or do something really special for our anniversary. We're worth your time. I'm starting to doubt it already. Confidence is hot. Arrogance is not. How many times have I seen that one? Four, chivalry is not dead. You've clearly never visited this channel. Uh, be old fashioned from time to time. Yeah, I, I love old fashioned, but women don't. They want to chip, chop and change, uh, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, we freaking love it. Pay on the first date. Why? Hold the door open for us. Why? And walk us to the front door. Walk you to the walk you to the front door. What like you're a fucking toddler, and then open it for you. The reason I said that is because five says. Don't be a man baby. I'll be you when we walk to the door. Most guys are kids at heart. But if we're doing more than a bit of coddling, i.e. cutting your food into little pieces. All right, let's move on. So I'm getting patronising there and uh, self-centred already. Six, listen and take an interest. After a hectic day, all we want our man to do is listen. Yeah, uh, I'm interpreting that. That's not what they say. Just my interpretation is, is uh, he should just shut up and listen to you just going on and on and on and on and on about nothing of any worth whatsoever. You know, women like to talk. Hang on a sec, I've got to clear my throat. Women like to talk. Yeah, I know. I saw a survey years back saying that UK women use 23,000 words a day on average and men use 12,000 words a day. And they want to pull their feelings out. It says here, it's a well-known fact. Yeah, it is. You like to talk and talk and talk. And most of it is meaningless. Meaningless. We confide in you because we trust you to make us feel better. So please just mute the TV. No, I'd rather mute you. Put down your beer. Oh, you just had your fucking wine. Fuck you. I'm not putting down my beer. I'm going to have you. I got fuck. And just listen, damn it. Oh, God. I feel, I don't, I don't feel like a beer now. I don't feel like wine. I feel like a couple of bloody good shots to my fucking head seven be honest it's true when they say honesty is the best policy okay well in my honest opinion i think this article is a bit shit uh, most importantly don't cheat and lie about it if i was with a woman like this i wouldn't cheat and lie i'd cheat uh, i'd cheat about it and then i'd tell her i just cheated on you you fat drunken bitch eight make us a priority see self 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 no, I'm not going to. I think I'll make myself a priority. Just as you, if, you, if, if you're a woman listening to this, and you can identify that with this and think that men should comply with this, then you, no, you, you, you make yourself a priority and you want the man to make himself a priority. Nine, notice the small things. We've already covered that. We know what that is. Um, Ten, take it slow in bed. Take it slow in bed. It can't get any worse than a man finishing before we've even started. You've been starting on me all fucking night. Talk, 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 talk. Eleven, turning down sex is not a big deal. Thank fuck for that, because I don't want to fuck you. But of course, that's not what this means. More often than not, if we turn down sex, it probably has nothing to do with you. We all have our down days, exhaustion, stress, worry, 
They're all major mood killers. It happens. Don't take it personally. I won't. Go to sleep, you drunken fat bitch. Twelve, help us. No, you need a shrink. Uh, God help you. Thirteen, sometimes we need me time. Do you believe this? Most of the time you can't get us to shut up. Yeah, you, we've established that. But sometimes we need a little me time. If your woman seems relaxed, yeah, well, that'll be the gallon of fucking wine she's had. And says nothing wrong, There's pro there probably isn't. Well, so it, it's the same thing. So when she wants to talk, you got to shut up. She want, When she wants to be quiet, you got to shut up. you just got to shut up. 14, learn to say sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I ever started on this article. Stop being so stubborn. I'm not. I'm being truthful. I'm being honest. It's your fault. Oh, sorry, if it's your fault and you're clearly in the wrong, uh, you owe it to us. Go on, say the magic word. Fuck! There's your magic word. 15. Sometimes we really do feel like shit. You should. 16. Toilet humour. While poo talk is comical at times. Really? Sending us a snapshot of what you ate for dinner yesterday is not our idea of a hot date. I've never heard of a man doing anything like that. 17, 18, know yourself. Uh, 19, don't forget our anniversary or birthday. You're not even going to get a first date, let alone an anniversary like this. 20. Respect us. No, I don't. Love her like it's your last day. Well, it would be my last day with a woman like this. 22. We're suckers for romance. Never ask a girl if she wants flowers or anything, in fact. The answer is simply yes, of course we do. Especially if it's to do with rose petals, candles dinner and wine. I thought we'd covered the wine thing, but uh, yeah, it's just gift after gift after gift. 23, cookers dinner. Oh, I, th I thought that, that, so the man cooks you dinner and then he wants you to chop it into little pieces. No, he doesn't. He wants to chop you into little fucking pieces. Cookers dinner, fuck. Yeah, just do everything. 24, things from the heart count. Now I've done it again. Things from the heart count. If you've ever thought of making a super sweet gift, oh, more gifts. Let's just get straight down to 25. 25, you can't live without us. You want to bet? Who else would play dress up? Make you a better man? Just admit it. You can't live without us. Just admit it. Thank you very much if you've got this far. No, I'm actually sorry for you if you've got this far. I feel so jaded. <sighs> okay, thank you.